Hi, this is Dr. Tony Cooper, and this is Life Without Baggage. In this podcast, I'll help you develop a stronger sense of self, develop firmer boundaries, and also learn how to lean into the gentle promptings of the Holy Spirit who can help you navigate life. I have dozens of bonus videos posted that will help you in these areas and also will help you develop stronger coping skills. In each of the program notes, there's a link where you can request a free digital book, Understanding Your Dreams, where you can find my other media, and also where you can find my books on Amazon. Just a reminder before we get into today's episode that this is not a substitute for medication or counseling. If you're having thoughts of harming yourself or another person, or if this material triggers you, please contact your doctor or a mental health specialist to help you with your concerns. Now here's today's episode. Welcome to this week's episode of Life Without Baggage. I'm in the series on greater levels of freedom. And today I'm going to be talking about breaking bondages. I would ask that if you're enjoying these principles that I've been sharing, would you consider picking up one of my books on Amazon? If you've been listening to my podcast, you know I have two devotional books, one called Sheep Hear His Voice and one called Insights into Faith, a workbook also called Life Without Baggage that will help you find greater emotional freedom and peace, a Bible study, and two books that will help you with personal coping and understanding distortions and understanding yourself. So consider picking up one of those for yourself or a friend. So let's get into today's episode. So what do I mean when I say breaking bondages? Well, if you've ever felt like you're in bondage to anything, depression, anxiety, sugar, junk food, certain programs maybe, certain relationships, when we feel like something is bigger than we are, and our wills won't take us <laughs> where we want to be. That's a bondage. So a bondage can be relational, it can be spiritual, it can be emotional. And I'm going to talk today about what the Bible says about how to have greater power for breaking bondages. So I'm going to start in the book of Isaiah, chapter 25. I'm pretty fascinated by this verse I probably reference it every so often, but I keep going back to it because it just really speaks to me about how to understand what happens with people, what happens with nations, what happens with cultures. So I'm reading from the Amplified today. This is Isaiah 25, 7. And he will destroy on this mountain the covering of the face that is cast over the heads of all peoples in mourning and the veil of profound wretchedness that is woven and spread over all nations. So why is that relevant? Well, if you contrast this with 2 Corinthians 3.18 that talks about as we behold him, the face of Jesus through through the word of God, that we are transformed from glory to glory. So you can see that in Isaiah, there's explanation that there are veils, there are coverings, there are shrouds over us, over our minds, over our spirits, over a geographical area. It's woven. That, that means When you're weaving, you do something over and over so that it becomes stronger. Well, there are bad weaves. There are bad things that are woven spiritually over an area. If you think about it, certain areas are known for certain kinds of crime or certain kinds of sin or certain kinds of problems, violence. And so... When ground is given to the dark side, that intensifies that covering, that veil. That's why when you drive different places, sometimes it just feels so wonderful and peaceful. And other times you cross a county line and it feels 
ugh. It's like, it just doesn't, doesn't feel good. There's a spiritual climate that's created by what is worshiped. So as we behold Jesus, we receive transformational power, which helps us break bondages. Regardless of what's going on around us, we are transformed and given power to move from glory to glory and strength to strength. Another scripture that is useful to understand when you are wanting power and wanting to understand your power to break bondages comes from 1 John 3, 8. Been quoting this verse a lot lately, but it's just so powerful. The reason the Son of God, Jesus, was made manifest, visible, took on a body, was to undo, destroy, loosen, and dissolve the works the devil has done. So that can be in an area. It can be things evil that we have lived through, that Jesus came to destroy it, to defeat it, to swallow it up, to, de- to break it off. And a similar kind of verse we find in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. I'm kind of weaving back and forth between the Old Testament and the New to show you that this is really consistent throughout Scripture. God really wants us to understand that regardless of how much has been damaged, how much pressure that he can destroy it. He can melt it. He can dissolve it. He can knock it down and then help us build. So here's what Isaiah 10, 27 says. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So a yoke is something that ties you to something else. In in some cultures, a, an oxen is yoked to plow or two animals are yoked together to plow. It's a bond. So there can be bonds that are good for us. We can be yoked to Jesus Christ. He says his yoke is easy and his burden is light. I think that's in Matthew chapter 11. Or we can be yoked to something that sucks the life out of us. We can be yoked to our past, to a person, to a certain kind of sin. There, there's different ways we can be yoked. Over, overburdened, we can be yoked. And so we want to understand that the power to change does not come from within ourselves. I know that's probably not what our culture teaches anymore, but you know there are limits to what you can do. And so the anointing is the power of the Holy Spirit to break things that have had power over you. Here's what Jesus says, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? Then come to me. I will refresh your life, for I am your oasis. Simply join your life with mine. That's a yoke. Learn my ways and you'll discover that I'm gentle, humble, easy to please. You will find refreshment and rest in me. For all that I require of you will be pleasant and easy to bear. That's like that verse in 1 John that his commandments are not burdensome. 1 John 5, I think that's verse 3. I read that probably last week. And then here's another verse in Romans. This is chapter 16, verse 20, about breaking bondages. The God of peace will swiftly pound Satan to a pulp under your feet. And the wonderful favor of our Lord Jesus will surround you. So again, the power to pulverize something that is dark, something that is sucking the life out of you. Our power to break bondages comes from Jesus Christ. 
And so that you, as you position yourself with him, it's kind of like, so I used to go hiking quite a bit and there was a time where I had a pretty good hiking buddy. And sometimes I would get sort of tired or it would be a little bit icy and my boots weren't quite like uh, giving me enough traction. And he would let me ride piggyback and then he would carry me up to the place where there wasn't so much ice and then we could continue the hike. So if you think about it, Jesus sort of offers that. He provides the power, but we choose whether we're going to ride piggyback or whether we're going to do it all ourselves. But the power to keep moving through treacherous territory or to come out on the other side, maybe there's something that has plagued your family for generations, that as you position yourself in him, as you allow him to lift burdens off of you, to change the way you think, then you can begin to break bondages in a way that you never dreamed possible. He wants to do more than you've ever thought or imagined. So I want to give you confidence. I want to give you courage that Jesus takes you through to new places, to better places. There's no magic wand. There's still things that are difficult about life. There's still a certain amount of suffering as long as we're on earth. But we have power for a good attitude and to be able to live a full life, uh, an abundant life, a joyful life. We're able to find peace regardless of the chaos that we're going through. So I want to encourage you with those thoughts. Let me pray. Lord, I thank you that you desire for us to know deeper levels of peace and deeper levels of power. So I pray that the scriptures that I've shared today, the images would take root in the spirit, in the heart and mind of the listener so that they are able to be strengthened as an oak of righteousness with confidence, with courage to stand and to walk and to trust you, to see something change in their situation. We ask you for that breaker anointing to break every yoke of bondage because of the Holy Spirit who indwells us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is Dr. Tony Cooper, and this is Life Without Baggage. Thanks for listening. If this helped you, think about picking up one of my books on Amazon, and please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for listening.